Okay, this video is going to show you how to replace the circuit control board on the integrated speed controller boxes. This does work with the straight bar box and the Y bar box. The method is pretty much identical. And so use this video regardless of which controller that you have. All you will need is a Phillips one screwdriver, which has the sharper point. That's going to be important for these small screws that go on the circuit board. And then just a Phillips two, which is pretty much the most common Phillips. I'm using an electric screwdriver, but you can also use a hand one as well. All right, to get started, you're going to rem remove the top four screws to the control box. You don't actually have to take them all the way out, just enough to actually get it loose. It's a little easier that way. All right, this comes off here. All you gotta do is remove this harness here. This goes to the on and off switch. These two harnesses go to the speed control knob. You just basically grab the wires and pull carefully and then the LCD, same thing, harnesses pop right off. Do notice that one of these is a five pin and one is a six pin. We'll get into that a little bit later. So you can go ahead and set that aside. Now to remove the control board, there's two screws right here. So take your smaller Phillips one screwdriver and go ahead and loosen this screw. What I usually do is take my finger and kind of grab the end of it so it doesn't fall out when I pull it out. Set that to the side. Come over here to this other screw. Same thing, I kind of grab it with my finger. See, I missed it that time. That's okay. Set it to the side. Now, to get it out, you'll notice the back of the board is kind of in these channels right here. Basically, you're going to pull this main wire and you can see how it, the board slides out of the channels and that way you can pull it out. Then feed the main wire harness out. This is an important step to make it much easier to swap out the boards. So your board should be free like this. You can do this with the control box on the mower, um, but it's much easier to just detach everything so you have room to work with the harness here. All right, so then you're going to come over to the main wires here and loosen them. Now you do not want this screw to come all the way out. Well, like that. <laughs> if it does, that's not a big deal. But ideally, you just wanna basically back it off just enough to slide the old one in. And then basically these will pull out like so. We'll go ahead and thread this back in here now. All right, set the new board aside so you don't get mixed up. Grab your new board here. And we wanna prep it by opening all these terminal screws just the right amount so that these wires are nice and easy to feed in here. So basically just back it off. And the idea here with these terminal screws is you basically want them like one thread short of falling out so that you have the most room possible to get those wires in there. Then you're going to grab your main harness wires. If for some reason these get kind of like frayed up or ugly, here's a quick tip to straighten them out pretty quickly so that they're easy to insert. This is a twist wire cap or a wire nut. You've probably seen these in different light fixtures if you've ever messed around with installing those. Uh, you can find them at the hardware store, but what you can do is put it on the end of the wire and twist it in a clockwise motion, and then just kind of back it off and pull it, and it twists the wire nice and neat for you. So these look pretty good. I'm gonna hit this one a little bit here. Back it off, and I think that'll probably be good enough to install it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the main wires. Now there's a little bit of a trick to this. What I'm gonna do is bend these out of the way and I'm only gonna insert the black and the white wire. Now the order is important here. The black wire goes on top and then the white wire goes on bottom. So you should just be able to basically feed those in there Make sure that they get all the way down in there. And then go ahead and tighten. I'm gonna use 
use this hand screwdriver just to make sure that they're nice and tight. All right, and then you're gonna take the brown wire next, feed it in there under the terminal and then bend the red wire up and into the terminal as well, like so. Then tighten them. Make sure they're good and tight with a hand screwdriver. All right, so that's ready to go. And you're gonna slide the wire back through the box. You might kind of have to bend this a little bit to get it to align right, to slide in easily. Now you do have to make sure this is pulled in far enough for this to drop down in here. Otherwise it might not fit. And then you're going to align the board with these little slots in the back here. And so what I usually do is kind of push on this wire, try not to tug on the components here, or you could break one off. So it's best to, to push on this wire to get it to slide in there. And you're gonna have to align this hole in the board with the little screw hole on the uh, plastic controller box. Next, you're gonna take this screw it's helpful if you have a magnetic one, but we're gonna do the same thing where I put my finger on the end and then I'm actually gonna kind of turn it sideways so it's easy not to drop the screw. And it should just thread right in there. Now on the straight bar box, you wanna make sure that this board is rotated as far down as it can right here because there's a pretty tight clearance with the cover. So make sure that the board is pushed down as far as you can. Just be careful. What I usually do is just very gently take a flat head and just kind of twist it, like twist it like that so that it pushes it down if I need to. All right, then we're gonna take our other screw here, go in sideways again. Make sure that's good and snug. We're gonna grab our top cover here and put in the switch harness first on the side here. Just kind of line it up and push it in. Then we have our two speed knob harnesses. Push those in. One is a two pin, one is a three pin, so there's no way to get them mixed up. And then our LCD. So one thing to, important to note here, one side of the connector is just black and the other side you can see the little pins these when you put these back on they face each other so the pins that you can see those sides face each other and it's pretty obvious which one goes where because one is a six pin and one is a five pin it should look like this when you put it in Let's see if i can get that to focus not really all right then just kind of Make sure that you have this on the right way. It goes, remember this mounts upside down. And so if it's on correctly, the knob should be in the back and then these bar clamps should be towards the back of the box. Then you're just going to tighten up the screws. And there you go, it's ready to reinstall on the mower and good to go.